You're ignorant. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining me here on the Dang It Donnie Show. It's amazing. It's still really hot here. Well, I've got an interesting show for you because I, um, I'm going to eat another habanero today. And this is almost... I, I, let's see, I, I've eaten habaneros for the past week. Almost an entire week straight. Um, not on video. I did a thing yesterday on uh, Facebook, on a Facebook video where uh, me and Dave, my buddy Dave, uh, ate some habaneros together. And uh, we've got an event coming up. I'll tell you a little bit about that in a, a few minutes. But uh, let's take a look at the, the pepper which I will be eating today. So I've got three, three different peppers to choose from here. Um, I got these at Kroger. Now, let me say that I'm excited to get any peppers whatsoever, right? But I'm, I, I don't particularly uh, wish to keep eating peppers from a grocery store. So I'm looking for hot peppers from growers online, people from maybe Instagram or YouTube. I've seen a lot of delicious peppers. I'm looking for sp some specific ones. Uh, today, I think I'm going to eat this one right here. That looks good. Um, but yeah, I'm looking for some smaller growers. I know I've talked to a couple of uh, a couple of different growers. I know Capsaicin and Cult on Instagram. Check out Capsaicin and Cult and Banditas Farms. I've talked to both of them about some delicious peppers. This is the one I'm going to eat today. This is just this is from the store. I don't want to eat grocery store peppers, but I have no choice right now. All right, so. Um, Welcome to the show. I'm going to get started on this. And then I've got some hot pepper news, some hot sauce news. I made some new sauces. I know you're going to be interested in, uh, from what I've seen, from what people have bought so far and uh, things people said about the sauces that I've been making, I know that the next two sauces, you guys are going to love those. So uh, let's get, let's just rub the pepper. Rub the pepper. Bite the pepper. Mmm, that's a sweet boy. It's a hot boy. Woo. Oh my. It's fine. This is all this is all good. It's perfectly fine. If you haven't seen the videos I've been posting lately, my name's Donnie. Of course, uh, it's the Dang It Donnie show. I have dangitdonnie.com where I make hot sauces and sell hot sauce accessories. Here's some new sauce that I have. Oh, that's a thick one. Mmm, it's so thick. But, um, and so let's get in, let's get into the sauces here. So I've been talking about this one for the past few days, about hmm, almost the past week. This sauce I'm calling Hot Stripper Babysitter because it's pineapple, maraschino cherries, brown sugar, and habaneros. And then, recently I made a video where I asked uh, whether I should put ghost peppers in this bottle. Not this bottle, the whole batch. I've got multiple bottles. But in this bottle, uh, whether I should put ghost peppers or whether I should put scorpion peppers. Well, I put both. So, this is spicy, right? If you were to like coat your mouth in this, it would be as hot or hotter than this habanero. I can actually show you the consistency right now. Yeah, let's have it out. Okay, so this is hot stripper babysitter. Look at that. Look at how it sticks to the spoon. Oh, that is a good sauce. And the only sweetness comes from the maraschino cherries and the pineapple and brown sugar. So, well, I guess it is a pretty sweet sauce, but it's got some heat. So it'll go on. This would be great on wings, anything like that. Here, let's let's take a, a nice little. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, I shouldn't have licked my lips. That's gonna burn. That's gonna burn the lips. 
Mmm, that's starting to slow build. God, that's that's a good one. But yeah, hot stripper babysitter is what I'm calling that. Okay. But wait, there's more. So I gotta tell you the process behind this one for you to actually appreciate how this one tastes, alright? I don't know whether I want to call this one, um, what did I write down? I don't know whether I want to call this one cloven hooves or maybe cussing in church, but this is made with uh, ripened plums. So I took some ripened plums and cut them in half, took the pits out, and then mixed up a proprietary blend of brown sugar and spices, pressed those plums into that, and then caramelized them, right? So. I just made these delicious candied plums, these spicy brown sugar delicious candy. Oh, my mouth's watering right now. Candy plums. Uh, then I took apple cider vinegar and I spiced it with um, the the uh, trinity of delicious mulling spices, cloves. Uh, what else? I got cloves, anise, and cinnamon. And so infused the vinegar with that, blended it all together with a few more spices, and um, a crap ton of habaneros. And so you get this candied, delicious sauce. Ugh. It's thick. She is thick. She chonky. I like a chonky. So, between the hot, uh, hot stripper babysitter and this I don't know, Cussin' in Church? I think that's a funny name, Cussin' in Church. It's probably what I'm gonna call it. Between these two, and then the Big Donnie Energy, which is the little bottle I showed you a, a while back. The little bottle has, um, it's got like two million Scoville extract, uh, ghost peppers, reaper peppers. Uh, it's all in a tiny little bottle. And so, with those three on the site, hopefully by the end of the day, you should finally have uh, some new sauces. I know that it's been sold out for a couple days. I took the weekend off. I work from Sunday till Thursday. That's just the thing. This is, uh, I can feel the heat in my ear. Ooh, that's what I got left. Here's the deal, I'm not eating those seeds, all right? That's not gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that, I made that mistake. <sighs> seeds are for either throwing in the trash or planting, depending on what you're allowed to do. And uh, I'm not interested in eating those. Probably gonna get a bunch of messages about that one. Mmm. Mmm. That was a spicy one. My tolerance has been getting a lot better lately though. So next Saturday. <clears throat> next Saturday we're getting together on Facebook for an event called Burn Together. We're gonna eat hot peppers and talk about hot peppers and sauces and our favorite spicy foods. You can join that on Facebook. Just look up the event Burn Together by Dang It Donnie's Cousins and me Donnie Cockrum. <clears throat> oh. So I made a list of the progressively hotter peppers that I wanted to eat on camera because I'm I'm hurting a little bit right now, but I'm getting a lot more comfortable with these habaneros. This is a list of the, the peppers that I need to get progressively hotter. So right now I'm looking somewhere between an orange habanero and a red savina habanero. So we're looking at orange habaneros, hot paper lanterns. Uh, Madam Jeanette, I need some scotch bonnets. I need a white bullet habanero. Those look really cool. They look super hot. They can get up to almost half a million. That's 400,000. Talking is making this hot. Woo! Caribbean red habanero. Devil's tongue. If you grow devil's tongue, I want some of that. Yucatan white habanero. A chocolate habanero. And a red savina. 
right now those are the ones I'm actively looking for. Ooh, you get that oxidative effect from the oxygen moving across the tongue. <sighs> All right, here it is. The hot, I'm getting high. Getting high as hell. If you're on drugs or an alcoholic and you don't want to be on drugs or an alcoholic anymore, join me, cousins. All right, join me, cousins. <sighs> Do you know how many ex-alcoholic and drug addicts I have seen get totally hooked on hot peppers and be completely content with their lives save money save your family save your relationships get your life on track I mean I'm not trying to preach at you or anything do what you're gonna do but hot peppers they connect everybody that's why I call everybody my cousins you don't have to be any kind of race religion color ethnicity socioeconomic status everybody likes spicy food okay it's a uh, cross-cultural we're all cousins. Go back far enough, man. We're all cousins. <sighs> mm. We all feel this endorphin rush, man. This is so good. I'm floating right now. <sighs> what do you think about my haircut? I mean, I'm not trying to be a pretty boy or anything, but that shaggy stuff was like making me feel self-conscious about myself. Ooh, you gotta do nice things for yourself so you can feel happier. I know we're in the uh, quarantine right now, so we're all we're all cattle in the cage, man. Cattle in the cage. So let's get together, eat spicy food, trick our bodies into producing the good chemical in a productive and healthy way. Oh, this feels nice. Try to do the afterburn. You know, just uh, talk about my experience a little bit. I feel like it's peaked. Well, cousins. This has been the Dang It Donnie Show. I will see you later. I'll see you on Instagram. See you on YouTubes. Um, and uh, on dangitdonnie.com. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for uh, following me on my hot spicy pepper journey. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.